Indie Mogul. Hey everyone, welcome to Backyard Effects, the program that shows you how to make your own special effects for cheap and gives away expired Christmas candy. This week we're teaming up with the masterminds behind Barely Digital and showing you how to make a new cyborg arm. From another dimension! The people over at Barely Digital asked us to make a robot arm for one of their upcoming videos and we couldn't say no. This project was also requested by Cityscape Pictures, Yemi Films, Sniffy Films 93, and NASA Guy 88. And even though we tackled a cyborg effect back in episode 8, we can always improve our designs. A scrap piece of PVC pipe that's about two feet long with a one and a half inch inner diameter. Another piece of scrap PVC that is smaller and slides smoothly into the first PVC. A small LED flashlight, some green tape or green spray paint, some silver and copper colored spray paint, an old spray nozzle, some green fabric, and an old plastic wire spool. This week on WePC TV. Some engineer saying that Skynet is processing at 60 teraflops a second. I don't know what the hell that means. It's a special like pool dive you can do. He's Rodney Dangerfield does that in Back to School, I think. It does a teraflop. <laughs> WePC TV is brought to you by Asus and Intel. You dream it, Asus builds it, Intel inside. The exact same thing, but completely different. You're watching Indie Mogul. This project is rated skill level 6. To build the prop arm, you'll first need to cut the plastic spool in half. Next, take the larger diameter PVC and cut a rectangular notch out of it like so. This creates a basic window so you can see the smaller diameter PVC slide in and out. Next, use some hot glue and attach the two ends of the spool to the larger diameter pipe. Make sure your window is in the middle. Now paint the outer PVC assembly and the inner PVC pipe silver. Then paint the spray nozzle brass. Once the paint dries, hot glue the nozzle to the end of the smaller PVC pipe. The last two steps is to add the flash Light, add some grease and cover the outside in green. Now onto the shoot. Pin or tape some green fabric to the arms of your actor. Then film all your scenes in front of a green screen. Edit down a rough cut of your movie and figure out all the angles you'll need for your prop robot arm. Now go back to the green screen room and film these angles with your prop arm. Try and use twists and bends to replicate that robot piston feel. A C-stand and clamp will help make your prop arm footage more stable. Now through the magic of editing you can key out all the green, resize your prop arm, then use keyframes or motion tracking to match the movements of the prop arm with your actor. All right, everybody, that wraps up another build episode of BFX. Make sure and navigate back to IndieMogul.com tomorrow to check out the original film that Barely Digital and IndieMogul made together. It features sexy cyborgs with robot arms, Amazon babes, biker zombies, and yours truly. That's right. I'm in the film. Small accessories like ropes and hats can make your Halloween costume look even creepier.